Chicago White Sox baseball brought to you by Miller. There's good enough and there's better than it has to be. Miller, good call. The Illinois Lottery. No matter how you play, play the Illinois Lottery. Have a ball. Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zalke. Today I'm here with the next series in my fictional pre-play of the Chicago White Sox season, which ironically is going a lot better than the actual Chicago White Sox season is so far. Uh, and today we are playing the crosstown rival Cubs. We're at home, so uh, let me change this so that this is human and that this is the computer. And this game is going to be the matchup is going to be John Lester against Dallas Keuchel. So let me get the sound and turn that down. And then uh, let's get underway with this. There will be only two games today. And then we have a series against Cleveland. And then we have two games um, across town against the Cubs. So this is just a two game set with them and let me move myself over a little bit now is it now maybe oh uh, yeah let me move myself over so there we go and almora jr alec alan alex i don't know what his name is but anyway he's out um then that brings up brian and he is going to get a single off of Keigel. So Chris Bryant is aboard with Baez up and one out. And that's a strikeout. Keichel strikes out Baez. One down. And that brings up Riz Master. And he goes deep. Rizzo has just given the Cubs a 2 nothing lead. Thank you, Keigel. So now that brings up Schwarber, and Schwarber is maybe going to miss the home run, or maybe he won't. Depends on the fielding, and Mazar's isn't very good. And yeah, so now it's 3 nothing. And then Contreras strikes out. So just like that, we're down 3 nothing. Sounds like the start of the twin series in real life against the uh, White Sox. Lewis Robert is leading off and striking out. That brings up Danny Mendick, and he strikes out. And that brings up Moncada, and Moncada's out. So we go quickly after giving up three in the top of the first. So now we're in the top of the second. And are you kidding me? Hayward goes deep. That's the third home run already off of Dallas Keuchel. Unbelievable. Four nothing. Horner's up and he singles. That brings a Boti. Boti hits into a double play. That's the best thing I've seen the Cubs do from our standpoint all day. And Elbert, I think it's Elbert Almore, flies out. So, yeah, Keiko gives up another run. And now we're down 4 nothing, And that brings up Ben Canarcion. And he hits a fly ball to the left, no to right. And, of course, that's got to be Hayward. So, one down, Abreu up. And Abreu's out. And Grandall is up. And Grandall is out. Chris Bryant up in the top of the third. He strikes out. So he's one for two on the day. Baez up, who had the home run. No, he didn't. He was over one. So he's over two now. Two down. And that brings up Rizzo. He had the home the first home run. And he's out. So Keuchel got his first zero inning here in the third. We go to the bottom of the third and Jimenez is up. And he is going to maybe hit a home run. 
Yeah, it looks like it's going to be gone, clearly. So it is uh, three to one, no, four to one, four to one Cubs. So Mazzara up. We just made the score four to one. He'll swing away and he strikes out. That brings up Lurie Garcia, and he is going to have an out. He's going to make an out, barely. And that brings up Lewis Robert with two down. And Lewis Robert is out. So we did get one back, so it's four to one. And Schwarber leads off by getting out, thankfully. Contreras is up, and he's out right in his column. That worked out nicely. And that brings up Hayward. And Hayward is going to be out of the park. So he gives him a four-run lead right back. And that brings up Horner. And Horner is going to hit a home run problem. Keuchel is handing out... Uh, Handing out home runs like candy at a fair. Oh no, it isn't. Or is it? No. No, it was an out. All right. I just didn't think there was any chance the way he was going. Mendick is up in the bottom of the fourth, but we are still we're down now again four nothing by four runs because it's five to one. Mancada is up and he's out. That's the second out. And that brings up Encarnacion. And Encarnacion hits a home run, puts us back down by three. So, yeah. And that brings up Abreu. And Abreu singles. And he's on. And then that brings up Grandal. And Grandal hits... Ball at second. That's Horner. Can he bobble it? He doesn't. And so we will go to the top of the fifth with the score. The Cubs five, the White Sox two. So we've got Bote up leading off for the Cubs in the top of fifth. And he singles. So he's one for two on the day. Um... Almora Jr. walks, so that puts two on with no outs. And Bryant up, and he's going to hit a ground ball to short. That's going to be Garcia right now because Anderson's probably tired. Got one out, so it's runners at the corners with one away. Got to hope for a double play here by Baez. We don't get it, but he only walks, so that loads the bases up. And that brings up Rizzo. And Rizzo does hit into the double play that we absolutely need. So it is five to two going to the bottom of the fifth. We're still not out of it because of the two home runs we've gotten. But Jimenez strikes out. Mazar is up. He hits a ground ball to short. And he's out, and that brings up Garcia. And Garcia is going to hit it. And that brings up Lewis Robert. And he strikes out. So, we go to the top of the sixth. Schwarber is stepping in, hitting the ball at Mendick. Let's hope he plays it. And he does. So Schwarber's out, one down, and Contreras up, up, and Contreras is going to hit a single. That brings up uh, the two for two, um, Hayward with two home runs, and he does thankfully hit into a double play and end the inning for the Cubs. We go to the bottom of the sixth, Mendick up at the plate and striking out. Brings up Mancada. Mancada is going to single. So we got a man aboard. 
one out. Let's try to capitalize on it with Encarnacion, and he walks. I'll take it. Need base runners for sure. And they're going to take Lester out and bring in Wick to face a break. And he hits a fly, a fly ball center field B. So nobody will go anywhere. And that brings up Grandall. And Grandall hits new double play. So I'm going to take out um, Keichel because, just because, I've had enough of that guy. I'm going to bring in Evan Marshall. And he'll face Horner, and he's going to let Horner have a home run. Just because. That brings up Bote, and Bote is going to fly out. So there's going to be one down, but the Cubs just got another home run, something like their fifth home run. Albert Elmora Jr. strikes out. And that brings up Chris Bryant, and he is going to be out. So Marshall gives up the leadoff homer which now puts us down by four, which is not good at all. And Jimenez is up at the plate. Now we got to get a lot of runners on base and knock those runners in. We don't need outs. Mazar's up. He's going to hit the ball to the catcher. And he's out. And then that brings up Garcia. And he strikes out. So we go to Baez leading off for the Cubs against Marshall, who I am still going to leave in the game for the moment. And he gives up another leadoff home run. Something like six home runs for the Cubs this game. Unbelievable. I mean, you're seeing it. You're living it. There's a walk to Rizzo. This is, uh, well, I mean... I want to say this is as bad as I've seen the White Sox pitch, but the real life White Sox are, are probably just as bad right now. There's a ground ball to second. Let's see if Mendy can play it. He does. But the runner moves to second, so there's only one out and Contreras up. And Contreras hits home run like number seven. I swear that has to be like number seven. Oh, yeah, Marshall's tired. I bet he is. I bet the whole pitching staff is tired watching this. So there's an out, and there's two down, and that brings up Horner. And Horner is going to hit the ground ball to short, which is Lurie for right now. And he is out. But the Cubs are just, you know, whatever. They've got however many runs on seven homers. And uh, we've got, oh, we got uh, Robert trying to jump in there. It's a good offensive. Uh, output, even though we're getting our asses crushed. He decides, hey, let's have a double. Well, there's another double. So Mendick drives in a run, but it's, see, this is all stuff that, um, well, we need to keep going. I mean, it's baseball. It's not time. So as long as we can keep doing this, like Makata just follows that up with a single. If we can keep doing this ad nauseum, then yeah. Then we got a shot. So they bring in another reliever, and then he strikes out in Canarcion, and that's un. Abreu is up, and Abreu is going to hit him into double play. So see, we really came woefully short of what we really needed to get right there. Bote will lead off in the ninth. Oh yeah, I guess I'd better take Marshall out since he's tired, and I can afford to. And we'll bring in Ruiz. And Ruiz is pitching to Almora. There's home run number eight. I'm going to count these up in the box score. Because, I mean, I think that's number eight. I haven't really been keeping accurate count. but And then Bryant walks. Baez is up. 
I mean, I bet Cubs fans are watching this and saying, man, I wish our team was really that good. And then Rizzo is up. And he's going to hit home run number nine, potentially. Yeah. Yeah, I, I bet he's tired, yeah. Double one to 19. No, 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 19. So that's going to be a double for Schwarber. And Contreras is up. And he's going to single, maybe single Schwarber home. Maybe not. We'll see. And he does. And Hayward, who's two for four with two of those home runs, gets a single double to Astros. So it's going to be runners at the corners. With Horner up, and he has one of the home runs, and he walks. Is Ruiz really this bad? Bote is up, and Bote walks. <laughs> this is just, I mean, this was just the craziest bad game you could ever want to play in Stratomatic. There's a fly ball to center. Robert will probably drop it, though. He doesn't. So, yeah. The score is 100 million to four or something. Grandall walks. Jimenez is up. Again, if we can keep this going, then we could potentially come back, but we're not going to keep it going. Mazar is up. That's going to be a pass ball that moves Grandall to second with one away. And then that's going to be a walk to Mazara. Garcia is up. And Garcia hits a single double asterisk. So that scores a run, puts runners at the corners, and now Dwayne Underwood is tired. And Robert's up. They bring in somebody to relieve Underwood, but they don't really need to. There's a hit by pitch by Robert, so that loads the bases for us. With already one run in and only one out, and Mendick up to the plate. And he hits a fly to left. And that's Schwarber, who is not known for his gold glove out there. And I am going to hold the runners because we need runner, we need base runners and runs. So that brings up another fly ball to left by Moncada. And but this time Schwarber makes the play, and that's the end of the game. So let's look at this bad boy 14 to 5. Missed it by that much. <laughs> and um, Keichel went six and allowed five earned runs on eight hits and walked two guys, and he allowed four home runs. And yes, the Cubs hit nine home runs. Nine in one game all right so we're going to game two of this two game set let's hope that uh well i was gonna say let's hope game two is better but it's gotta be even if we lose but we barely lose it's still better so in this game we're gonna have giolito going up against quintana and i'm gaining so let's go let's just get into it Elmore Jr. leading off of them again. Giolito allows a single. So we're just going, we're just picking up right where we left off in the previous game. Baez is up. Baez strikes out, though. Chris Bryant up. And Chris Bryant is going to hit him with a double play. And the Cubs, amazingly, scored no runs. So we have uh, Lewis Robert up. Lewis Robert is going to hit the ball to the catcher. And that's an out. Mendick up at the plate, strikes out. And then Moncada's up. And he walks. So it looks like Anderson's out of the game again. He must still be tired, or maybe he got injured and I missed it. I don't know. But there's a home run by Encarnacio. And that's going to be a two-run dinger, so that gives us a two-nothing lead. Nice to have a lead. Abreu is up, and he's out. So that's three outs. 
do get two runs in the first inning. We go to the top of the second. Rizzo leading off, and he's out. And so they're not even getting rolls this game like they did last game. Schwarber is up, and he's out. Of course, it helps that G. Lito is a great pitcher. And that's going to be a strikeout plus injury to Contreras. And he's sitting out 60 days. Goodbye, Contreras. Although that's really, I mean, we only play him this game and then two more, I think. That's all we've got the entire season against him. Grandall is up, but it is going to cause problems for the Cubs. And he lines out. So, bottom of the second, we're ahead to by the score of 2 nothing, And there's a single for Jimenez of Quintana. Mazzara's up. Mazzara lines out. And Garcia is up, and he's going to hit him with a double play and end the inning. Or just get one out, because there was already two. So here's Hayward, who jacked a couple last game, but he strikes out here to G. Leo in the top of the third. Horner is up, and Horner's going to hit a fly ball to the left. And that brings up Bote, and Bote strikes out. So here's Lewis Roberts, bottom of the third. We're still maintaining the 2 nothing lead. Second base, ground ball to Horner. And he's out. Mendick is up. Mendick is going to hit the ball to Almora. It's great with the ball, so it's probably going to be an out. And it is, and then that brings up Mancata. And Mancata hits a fly ball to center field again, and that's Almora, as we've established. They have a great outfield, except for Schwarber, who is terrible. And that brings up the aforementioned Delmora. And he is going to hit a single. He'll get a leadoff single. He's aboard. Top of the fourth for the Cubs with Baez up. He strikes out. Bryant's up. Bryant is going to hit a single. Be interesting to see who bats for Contreras when he comes up. But uh, we got Rizzo striking out. That was key. And then Schwarber. And Schwarber is going to fly out. So we're holding him. We are holding him. They get nothing in the fourth, and here comes Encarnacion. He has a home run already today, and then he fouls out. Abreu is up. Abreu singles. Nice. Nice to see. Grandall at the plate, and he's hitting a ground ball at short. That's Baez. He's a one. Man, they got ones everywhere. So we're out of the inning. There it is, Caratini. Caratini comes in for Contreras. And he's actually pretty good, but he strikes out. I've got him in one of my Stratomatic Leagues, one of my competitive Stratomatic Leagues. Hayward walks. That brings up Horner with uh, Hayward aboard, and he strikes out. And that brings up Bote, and Bote strikes out. So we're going to the bottom of the fifth. Still leading 2 nothing. Those two runs we got in the first have held up so far. But Jimenez is out. Mazzara is up. Mazzara strikes out. And that brings up Garcia. And Garcia will be out. So we go to the top of the sixth. Elmora, who's two for two, but strikes out here, so that ruins his day. It's perfect, potentially perfect day. And Baez up and one down, and he's going to hit the ball to Grandall. 
let's hope the Grand Doll makes the play. He does. And that brings up Chris Bryan. And Chris Bryan just rips a double. Just ripping a plain double. Not even, there's no split on it or nothing. That brings up Rizzo. And Rizzo's out. So we go to the bottom of the sixth. We're holding him, man. G. Lito is just pitching his butt off for us. Robert is up, and he has to because we only have two runs. It's not like we're scoring a ton of runs. Like we ironically did last game, but still ended up losing. Mendick is up. That's a strikeout. And really, we didn't score a ton of runs. We scored, I think, four or something. And that brings up Moncada with two down. But four would put this one away, it looks like. Schwarber leading off for the Cubs in the top of the seventh against Giolito still out there. I have to keep him out there because, I mean, he's got to. Caratini gets a ground ball and he's out. And that brings up Hayward. And Hayward is out. Yes. So Encarnacion is leading off for us, bottom of the seventh, no outs, and he has a home run already. Let's see if he can do it again. He can't. He lines out. Brings up Abreu, and Abreu maybe went deep. Let's see. Could be. And it is. So we got a 3 nothing lead now. That might be enough with the way Giolito's pitching. Grandall up. He walks. That brings up Jimenez. And he strikes out. So, two down. Mazzara up, and he lines out. We go to the top of the eighth. It's getting late for the Cubs. They hit a ground ball to the pitcher, and that's Giolito after this foul ball. And he's out. Uh-oh, he's out. He's out big time. He's out of the game. That's not good news. And he's out for 15 days, which is even worse. So, um, hmm. I'll bring in Pry to try to finish it up, or at least finish up this inning. One away, Bote up, and he's out. And that brings up Elmora. And Elmora strikes out, so Fry pitching great. I might actually even bring him back for the ninth. Uh, bottom of the eighth, Garcia is at the plate. He is going to single. That brings up Lewis Robert, and he's going to walk. I was just thinking to myself, I'm going to put in... Uh, um, Engel is a defensive replacement in the outfield for one of those two corner outfielders, but I don't know. If we score enough runs here, I might not. But Mendick hits a double play. Two down. And Moncada up. And he strikes out. So we go to the ninth, and I am, yes, going to do that. I'm going to bring Engel in to play right field for Mazzara. And uh, that's going to be that. So, I'm going to keep Fry out there because he, I mean, he was great and he got a strikeout. So, Baez is gone. Brian up. He strikes him out. Man, Fry has been on top of his game, which is great. And Rizzo. And Rizzo lines out. So, we do end up winning the game three nothing. Let's go check this box score, and then we're going to go check the standing. You might want to stick around for that. So, uh, yeah, Giolito, seven and a third, injured though for 15 days. That's going to mean he's going to miss three starts, which is not good at all. 
But let's go to the uh, check the standings. So we went one and one against the Cubs right there, and that makes us 60 and 53. You might say that's not a great record, but compared to last year, it's stupendous. And compared to how the White Sox have gotten off to their real start, it's very stupendous. So that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.